This video is about how to get a busted bolt off. This is in a Taft uh, farm tractor. It has a front loader on it. So these these bolts here are fairly important, even though there is five of them in there. Uh, you can see over here. There's one there, one there, and there's one here, bottom is screen, you tilt it down, one there, and that's the one that's broke off right there. But this is a set of uh, easy outs, and what they are, there's a couple different sizes in there, are these with a little square end on it you get a wrench on but anyhow you drill the hole and what this does give it a couple force it in a little bit maybe just tap it with a hammer ball peen tap it just so it grabs and then when you turn it to turn it out um they're they turn the opposite way so they they want to tighten in so that grabs that bolt and starts pulling it out and they do work if the bolt isn't real, real tight, and if you use the right size. Uh, they give you a bunch of different sizes. So you have to uh, drill a hole, as I said. This still isn't quite straight, but I don't want to have to do a lot more ripping down to get it straight. But it's, I think it's pretty close. Could be a problem. You know what? I may cut the bit off. I do have an angle drill. But you know what? I'm going to try it and see what happens. There's an, an angle drill. As you can see, it will take up. This is a fairly big angle drill, so it takes up a lot less space. Yeah, this seems to fit a lot, but yeah, this is fits in here. But it's still with that other part on there, it wouldn't have fit, so. Normally, I would drill it a lot deeper and maybe a lot bigger, but I think it looks loose. I think I might try it with a small tap and see what happens. That's too small. And also, you got to watch that. Uh, if you do go too small, you don't. You be very careful because you crack one of them off in there and break them off inside the bolt. You ain't drilling that bolt out. So there's where you want to be real careful because it's a hardened steel, and I've done that years ago on a block of a motor, and I learned my lesson. Good thing it was only a, a valve pan gasket because I could deal with the leak I and mean, it was an older car so it was no big deal. Let's see. Let's see if you can 
see what I'm doing there. Let me move this camera. Yeah, so I just stuck that in there. I just stuck it in there. It's already it already grabbed a little bit without me tapping it with a hammer. Of course, I'm turning it the wrong way, but there, you know, just when we turn it by hand, it's already grabbing. Not to say that that's gonna work, but it might so I don't want to do any more force than I have to which there it turned yeah turn it right out I'm surprised it's that easy of course I didn't get it out yet oh man all that for that oh well well that gives you the basic idea of how that one of those works Oh, very seldom would it be this easy so it's something you got to be a little gentle with but I don't know if you can really see how that's well once I take it out you'll see it maybe get to drift And it's not in there straight, but it was in there good enough to get the bolt out. And that's all that matters, is get the bolt out. Oh man, that's, I don't know why that thing didn't fall out before. It just didn't want to come out of there though. Anyhow, I just want to turn this around a little bit so I can see it myself. Anyhow, that's basically it. That's the end of the nut. This looks like it has some kind of green on it. I think it just might be uh, coat uh, original color. color coating. Of course it's in there tighter than you think too. But that's the end of the bolt. And I didn't have to go very far. But it is a hard case bolt. But that's all there is to it. Now to put it back all together. After all that, just for that.